and let us solve this golden problem from J mathematics and this problem is motivated by I Spengler intense test. Uh, actually this problem was asked in the master's course for I Spengler but definitely it is going to be taken in J means as well as advanced and in recent days we have seen many problems of him which is motivated by this kind of problem idea. So without any delay let us start solving this question for n 1 2 3 means n belongs to next one number and integration is defined by this relation i n is 0 to 1 t raised to power n minus 1 by t plus 1. We need to show the following inequalities for i n plus 1 and i n. Second question we need to find exact value of i n plus 1. So basically second question is a recurrence relation which is often asked in j maths. Third question is we again have to establish an inequality relating i n and 2 raised to power n minus 1 and n. And fourth one is a new entry so we have to see some log connection between this integration as well as uh, you know like this kind of TGP kind of terms. And using that we have to show log 2 is sandwiched between 2 third and 17 by 24. Uh, the point is very clear. Uh, I'll start with the logic of how to think for this kind of problem because that's more crucial than blindly solving the problem. So before we go further, uh, what we can do is we can first blindly start with what the problem means. And let's say if someone just keep i n equals 1, so he'll get 0 to 1 t raised to power 0 which is just 1 by t by t plus 1 and that nicely turns out to be ln t plus 1 mod evaluated from 0 to 1 and that will give ln 2 minus ln 1 ln 1 dies and ln 2 is the lines of the final exactly in same fashion we can calculate even i2 and let's see whether that's easy or it's not so obvious so i2 will get t dt by t plus 1 whole square. Now can we solve for this integration? Uh, at first go it might feel like the uh, application of King's rule gives an easy answer. So let's say if I apply King's rule, I'll get t replaced with 1 minus t. So it will be 2 minus t whole square. And that doesn't seem nice as well. So even if you'll add both of this, uh, nothing nicer will come. For the simple reason, like we don't have t plus one type of expression in denominator, so we'll not go in that pathway to solve this problem. Either what we can do is probably we can uh, try to extract the information of i one, which means t plus one from i two. Uh, another hint is like if you see one by t plus one, so its derivative might give birth to minus one by t plus one over sky. So there is some t plus one and t plus one whole square connections in i two itself. And that forces us to think from integration by products, right? So, what we are gonna do here is, let's say if I keep zero to one t as a first function, and one by t plus one whole square as second function. Now, so let's give a try whether it works. So we we'll leave t integrate. 1 by t plus 1 whole square and that will give minus 1 by 1 plus t evaluated from 0 to 1 minus integration of its integration so that will be minus 1 by 1 plus t and into derivative of t which is 1. So this term gives minus 1 by 2 minus 0 and the second term gives us just precisely its i1. So I can tell we have found the relation between I2 and I1. So I2 equals and this is going to be minus 1 by t so that will be plus right. So plus will come here. So we have I2 equals minus half plus I1. And so far so good. So using this idea we can even find I3. So there must be a relation between I3 and I2. Further I2 is related to I1. So in general we can establish a relation in i and i minus 1 and its previous generations and that is precisely happening here using integration by parts. So part number 2 can be done by integration by parts and that is the hint that we are getting just by playing with some of the expressions, easier expressions to solve. 
Uh, for part one, either we can directly find the value of i n or establish the inequalities. But in many such tricky problems, it's not required. So what we will do is we'll start with i n plus one, and with a little manipulation, probably we should be able to connect i n plus one with i n. Uh, not with the equations, because equations will be generated with the integration of parts, but probably with very basic mathematical tools. So that's our next agenda looking at it. Uh, third part seems uh, jugglery of first two parts because once you know i n plus one exact uh, value in the second part. So if I'll keep that RHS over the first part of our problem, uh, probably we should be able to relate the third part as well. And for fourth part, uh, we need to come with log connections. And since you know, like log itself has a very nice uh, expansion using ln 1 plus x using Taylor series expansion, so probably we should be able to connect as well. So let's start with the first part first before we go with the detailed solutions of all the four. So for first part, uh, since we know like t is already dancing from 0 to 1. So this implies uh, t by t plus 1 will be less than now why I'm thinking of t by t plus 1 because you can see the only difference in i n plus 1 and i n will be t by t plus 1 okay? because what will i n plus 1 is 0 to 1 t to the power n by t plus 1 to the power n plus 1 dt so now if I'll plug t by t plus 1 is precisely i n kind of a structure that we are getting so this into t y t plus 1 is precisely the integrand of i n. So probably we can uh, try to get some inequality regarding t y t plus 1 and that might relate uh, i n plus 1 with i. Now this can be related if and only if we are incorporating some constant over here. Because if it is not a constant, you can't tell 0 to 1 integration will not be together. So that forces me to think for t by t plus 1. And since you already know, like we can write t by t plus 1 as t plus 1 minus 1 by t plus 1 is 1 by 1 by t plus 1. And since t ranges from 0 to 1, so hence t plus 1 will dance from 1 to 2. And hence 1 by t plus 1 will happily dance from half to 1. And since this is dancing from half to 1, so 1 by 1 minus t plus 1 will dance from 0 to half, right? So I can tell like this quantity will be less than half. Now once that's done, the question, the first part of the question will immediately, immediately falls down because i n plus 1 is 0 to 1 t y t plus 1 as we have seen, t raised to power n minus 1 by 1 plus t raised to the power n dt and what we have shown is this part is less than or equal to half so overall this integration is less than or equal to 0 to 1 half can be pulled down t raised to the power n minus 1 by this dt and yase this is what the definition of i n we are having in hand hence i can tell i n plus 1 is lesser than or equal to half times of Right now, coming back to the second part of the question, so the first part is ours. The second part is quite easier now. Once we apply integration of parts, as I was motivating you in the beginning, so zero to one t raised to the power n by t plus one n plus one dt. So I'm going to take t to the power n as first function of one by t plus one to the power n plus one as second function. So leave first function integrates at n and if we integrate 1 by t plus 1 to the power n so that will be minus times 1 by t plus 1 to the power n right probably minus 1 by n as well and this integration integrated from t equal to 0 to 1 and minus minus plus so that will be integration of 0 to 1 so integration t to the power n minus 1 by t plus 1 to the power dt now if we we'll evaluate it so 1 goes to minus 1 by t plus 1 uh, sorry. 
n times to the power n and 0 will get cancelled, right? So plus i n. And this is the recurrence relation that we want. And this is exactly what was to be shown in part. The third part is we have to show that i n is less than or equal to uh, some kind of AGP i j 1 by n times i. Now that, that's very easy because using first two parts we can immediately uh, conclude that since i n plus 1 which is minus 1 by n times to the power n plus i n and i n plus 1 was less than half i n in the first part of the proof. So this quantity will be less than half i n. And focusing on these two brackets we are done. So i n minus half i n is lesser than 1 by n times 2 raised to the power n which gives i n by 2 less than 1 by n to the power n. So if you plug this 2 on the other side n is going to be 2 raised to the power n plus 1 right. So this is quite fine and now we will move to the third last part of this our problem which is part 4 and here they are talking about sigma of 1 by r to the power r. So maybe probably we can take sigma in this expression on both sides. So taking summation on both sides uh, we will probably give up sigma n by to the power n kind of expressions. So that motivates me uh, to bring uh, since we know 1 by r into 2 ka power r is i r minus i r plus 1. I have done it for n. So we will put replace n by r. Then it's true for any natural number. Now if I will take sigma on both sides. So let's say sigma 1 by r into 2 ka power r and r running from 1 to n is going to be sigma r running from 1 to n i r minus i r plus 1. Now this is typically a telescopic series because that's is quite cool. It's i1 minus i2 plus i2 minus i3 and all the way till n so i n minus i n plus 1. And we can easily see the telescope, the first of first and last of last remains, everything will just get murdered in the process and we will be having i n minus i n plus 1. Cool. Now, in the beginning, we have already found i n and that was log 2. So, log 2 minus i n plus 1. Hence, you have found uh, already uh, the birth of log 2 in this expression. So what we can tell is this expression sigma 1 by r 2 ka power r, r running from 1 to n is ln 2 minus i n plus 1, right? Hence log 2 is this plus i n, hence ln 2, ln 2 means base e, so sigma 1 by r 2 ka power r running from 1 to n plus i n plus 1, and this is true for all n. Okay, now 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now the last part, uh, if I'll put n equals 2 over here, so we'll get log 2, like just to check the bound, which r equal to 1 to 2, 1 by r to the power r, plus i3. So that will be less than 1 by 2 plus 1 by 8. This is from third uh, inequality which I have proved, and i3 is 1 by 12, because that you can find by the equals Agri-Lego, you already have a way to find I1, I1 is ln 2, and using I1 and I2 recursion, using this recursion, you can find I2 and I3, and I leave you, I3 is 1 by 12, right? So, if I plug all these values, uh, it's going to give me 17 by 34, uh, now we can take another way as well, log 2 will be definitely greater than 1 by R equal to 1, 2, 3, 1 by R2 to the power. Now why, why that this is the case? Uh, that I am directly reporting from this equation. Right? That I am directly reporting. So ln2 will, because this quantity is definitely positive. No need to say so this will get in this. So this will be exactly greater than uh, 1 by 2 plus if I put 2 
we have 1 by 8 and by putting 3 we have 1 by 24 and that gives us 24 else so it's 12 plus 3 plus 1 16 by 24 so at least 2 by 3 so hence we have shown by that log 2 will be more than 2 third but it will be lesser than 17 by 24 so I hope you have enjoyed this problem and see like how well connected these uh, four options were. Okay, so of course like we can ask many of these kind of problems. Instead of where uh, both rational expressions they could have given in sinusoidal type or any other functions. Sometimes you have to use even the sinusoidal Taylor-Series expansion to find any type. For instance, sin x is less than equal to x for x positive. It will be greater than x minus x2 by 3 factorial. Again, it will be less than x2 x5 by 5 factorial, and so on and so forth. So, if you have a basic command of a Taylor series expansion and you know how to manipulate using integration by parts, so every problem, 101% problems of the eight forms till now and upcoming exams can be solved using this fundamental idea. If you have not, I still like and subscribe to the channel, please do so because I'm not going to benefit too much, and you are going to get golden concepts and problems on my channels a uh, lot of ln narayana chaitanya super anchors group paper srg and score test to discuss on this channel so please stay connected and i promise you like i'll not let your time waste on this channel and you will get what you are looking for thank you have a good day and happy word to all of you numbers ki dher sari सही कर्म करते रहिए और सही डायरेक्शन में अपने जीवन को जो इस कॉस्मिक एनर्जी से हमारा जीवन बना है इसको आप भी हम भी सब आदमी स्वयं का कल्याण अपने परिवार और समाज और राष्ट्र कल्याण में इस एजुकेशन को समर्पित करें और एक अच्छे व्यक्ति के रूप में आप निखरें यही ईश्वर से प्रार्थना होगी हमारी सभी बच्चों के लिए और हमारे सहपाठियों के लिए जो इस चैनल को देख रहे हैं थैंक यू हैव अ गुड डे अगेन हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू